Hi everyone! In this video, I will create a distribution board, add circuits, and automatically generate schematics and a layout. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to be notified of the new videos. Okay, so I will directly start on the electrical schematic. And in this schematic toolbox, we find the distribution board function. Here, first of all, we're going to define a new, a new board. So we click on a new board button and we can give a name. So I will type DB01 and we can find, um, we can open the product database of boards. So we go to the three dots button. I will select, in this case, the future board for modular products. And I will select the generic product board for modular products of three rows. Next, I will click on the circuit list tab and I will define new circuits. So to do so, I go to the new button and I will select the category supply generator. I will select the first option or, or in a subgroup or in a subcategory, supply with protective device with cable. I will predefine the uh, as 35 ampere and I will set as three phases and click next, uh, add. DDS CAD automatically finds a fuse of the same ampere. Here we just select the, the configuration of the schematics. Next, I will select a level two protective device on bus bar. In this first one, I will select this with protective device and I will predefine as 25. And I will click add. Add for the fuse, okay for the fuse. And then I'm going to the installation uh, category in which I will select a light uh, circuit with protective device. So I will select this first option and I will change the, the load for 10 ampere. And I will click add and add again for the disjunctor. And I will close this dialog. Uh, because I can uh, simply copy paste with uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So I would do it like four times. So one, two, three, four. Next, I will click on the new button once more to add other level, uh, a level two protective device on both bar again. And right now I will insert protective and RCD device and I will change the load again to 25 and click add. Again, okay for, for the fuse, for the RCD. And to finish, I'm going again to the installation and add some uh, socket circuits. So I will select the first socket circuit in a list and I will change the load for, 20, uh, for 16 and click add, add again, and click close. Again, I can copy paste with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, one, two, three, four. We can see in the column device that the current for the supply and for the second uh, protective uh, overpower overload protection um, is in red, so it's under underdimensioned so I can select the this I can select the circuit right mouse click and I can select the option update dimensions so it automatically um, redimension the the current and I will do the same here okay so as I have created the, the circuits I'm going to the sheets tab and add some sheets first i will add a, i will add a multi-main diagram with this configuration i will add the circuit list 
and I, I will add a layout. So I'll double click all these entries and I will click OK. DDS CAD automatically uh, generates the, the schema. I'm going to the next page as we continue to see the schematics. Next sheet and we see the circuit list. And now I'm going to the last page, which is the layout. Um, to create the, to go to the, to, to the board layout, we go to the working mode distribution board layout. Uh, we see the, the inside view of this, of this board. And I will click on the function draw symbol diagrams. Uh, in here, it asks me where I would like to start to insert uh, inserting the, um, the fuses and disjunctors. So the first one, the code is F1 for fuse one. So I just click OK and I can double click the entry over here and it will automatically insert the fuses and disjunctors. So double click here and double click here. All of them have been inserted uh, separately. So if I would like to move, I can select them separately. If I would like to move this to the row below. Now I can add in the, I can come back to the standard tools to go back to the layout and insert the arrangement view. First of all, from with inside. So I'll go to the tab, uh, rod pause scale, just because I want to change the scale. It's already set here three. And I click OK and insert here in the, in the layout. And I will come again and insert a 3D model. If you like this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any questions or any suggestions about this video, put your comment below. Cheers.